My dad's a professor in computer science, and uh, my mom worked for IBM for over 20 years. So that was definitely a big part of my inspiration. But when, when I got into the field of computer science, after I wrote my first program and saw it compile, that's probably the first time where I just felt, this is great, this is really fun, and I can do this. My name is Christina Winblad, and uh, I'm, I just graduated with my PhD from uh, the Donald Brand School of Information and Computer Sciences. I'm originally from a really small island outside of Stockholm in Sweden. I really liked the, uh, the area, Southern California, and uh, I wanted to continue studying. And I heard that UC Irvine had a really good software engineering program, and I, I knew that it was going to be a good collaboration, a good team to work with. My research started out with uh, a project in specification-based testing where the specification was a requirements engineering or a requirements specification. And uh, it later on shaped into a requirements specification language with tool support with, um, with the final aim of being able to uh, create test cases from that specification. Teaching, it, it, it's interesting, as a, an incoming PhD student, uh, teaching was not a top priority for me. But once I started teaching, I learned that I, I actually really enjoy it. And uh, I taught, I was a TA for three years straight, um, and I really enjoyed every single course that I TA'd. I think it was during my second year of being a TA, I applied for a pedagogical fellowship and I was awarded a pedagogical fellowship, which uh, allowed me to take courses in pedagogy. Towards the end of the pedagogical fellowship year, it's a three-quarter uh, commitment. I also was awarded um, a prize for the most promising future faculty. As a, uh, as a part of that program, we also got to train the incoming uh, graduate students in being teaching assistants. So I designed a whole day and a half full of workshops uh, on pedagogy and, and other teaching related material for the incoming students this year. Um, I, I appreciate that there are people on campus that really value teaching and that that's something that is important to this university and that there's a lot of resources to help professors, faculty and, and uh, graduate students that want to improve their teaching. So. Some advice to future students or incoming students or even current students. I think um, going into the PhD program, you, you need to, to know and understand that it's a marathon. So it's, you can't burn out your energy too soon. So keep in mind that it takes a long time and you know, pace yourself, be patient and talk to other grad students. You're gonna go through good times and bad times and everyone does. So it helps to talk to others and hear about their experiences and just know that you have to go through all that and that it's worth it in the end.